Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsy, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft without mining, where we are on the law on top of another large platform, because this is where we will build the furnace array. Last time we built a blaze farm for the fuel, and I am aware that uh, one end rod. Uh, not an end rod, a blaze rod um, can smelt 12 items. So it's better than coal, uh, it's better than anything you get out of wood. It's not as good as a lava bucket which can melt 120 items. So I need 10 end rods for. Uh, smelting the same amount of items but if you think how much can you pack into a chest so um, that's 20 27 uh, buckets uh, or 27 stacks of end rod uh, so basically uh, a chest of end rod has six times more fuel capacity than uh, we get from a chest of lava buckets. So that's why I went with uh, end rods. And we will have a full stack of furnaces and that should give us about uh, the, the capability so we can smelt one stack of items in Four seconds. So that needs a bit of queuing to get the items out, to fuel everything and then also to get the items in. But one thing of the other. Let's start from the bottom to the top. So first we will deal with uh, getting the smelted items out. In this direction we have two rail lines that curve around at the other end and they are uh, exactly 32 blocks long um, either till here or till here. So if we place furnaces above both of them we have one stack of furnaces and this is how we get the items out of the furnace. And then here we have the starting mechanism, uh, which basically places a hopper minecart, which is currently stored down there on here, uh, rolls around. And then uh, when the first one nears the end down there, a second one will be dispensed due to this uh, simple uh, repeater delay clock. And we can turn this on and off by flicking this lever like that. And then we have the second one and when the minecart rolls over there, uh, a new one is dispensed. The signal goes around here like this and thereby we always have roughly uh, three minecarts uh, or hopper minecarts going on and then the uh, interesting part really is uh, if uh, they uh, pick things up uh, they the minecart gets broken here and all the items drop out there we have a cauldron with lava in that destroys the minecart but it actually tries to snatch to that block down there so everything ends up eventually uh, in this chest here so that's 
just stop that. And once the last minecart rolls around and is dispensed, we have them back in here. Or we should have them back in here. We're missing one. But you'll see how that works, so now I can start working on the next layer uh, to get the fuel into the furnaces and actually setting up the furnaces. Here on top the fuel lines are now let out. They come in from the back side of the furnace with the uh, front side here towards the middle and that's because we need uh, to have a few powered rails and with this we can have the redstone block on the outside because here on the inside uh, we will have another row of uh, of hoppers and these should not be powered by the redstone there and then from this side there we have another contraption um, which will supply the fuel we have a chest minecart here uh, on this uh, detector rail and as it is empty um, we do not read out a signal here and as we have uh, uh, this set up here this piston basically only retracts when the chest is full and above here uh, it's a bit difficult to see but basically in here we can put in shulk boxes with fuel and they will be uh, dispensed from here and uh, once they are empty uh, they get broken and a new one gets dispensed. Uh, currently I do not yet have any shulk boxes with fuel that we can put in here but don't you worry uh, I will have some until I'm done with this project because in the end we need to see if this actually works and the last piece is now also in place you can see here the uh, distribution system for the items to be smelted that's done uh, with water streams that are aligned here in this corner and over there with sea pickles so every thing shoots over the hoppers and gets sucked up and then we have here uh, a bit of a uh, water elevator where we can drop in the things in the scap and the water is hold back by this uh, lichen here which is very neat so all of that actually is missing now is the fuel so uh, I think I will get right to that I came over here to grab some blocks of cobblestone so we can test out our furnace array but it's broken if you can spot why leave a comment down in the uh, comment section yeah that's that's where and uh, we will fix it next time luckily i had a, a stack or a shulker box uh, uh, spare so we will use that to test out the uh, array the furnace array over there now all the uh, hoppers back here are filled but as you can see from the missing shulker block uh, box there uh, we do not have too many end rods or blaze rods 
uh, to spare, but it is enough to, uh, to test this. So let's set this up and then let's grab a few of uh, these and uh, uh, throw them in here. Not everything goes up there. Almost everything. Um, and then the rest. like the cobble column is not complete um, we can fix that eventually here also needs a bit of work it is that. yes that was the missing block and here you can see we get stone blocks out of it the uh, minecart is broken there short and uh, they are coming in here and not all furnaces are burning that's probably because most of the uh, the stone ended up in the in the first few here so uh, if we have if we have more than uh, what we can fit into the first few, that should sort itself out. But I think that's one successful project, and uh, we have seen back there um, our next one that we will have to tackle. So, hope you enjoyed this one, and join me next time when we make some more progress. Goodbye!